Welcome to the fourth episode of LDOE Log, an informational series all about Last Day on Earth. And as you can see, this episode is all about the saw blade maze. We're going to take a look at some of the best use case scenarios for it and how you can turn it into an absolute HP melter. So let's jump in here. And the saw blade mace is most effective when it's used as a sneak attack only weapon. The reason for this is because its crafting requirements are actually pretty steep, coming in at 15 iron bars, 12 leather, and the like. Now, you can get it in airdrop somewhat regularly, but the chances of you getting it just aren't high enough to be using this as a normal attack weapon. Now, it is pretty tempting to one-shot smaller zombies with the saw blade mace, but you'll want to try to stay away from doing that because you're actually wasting a lot of the HP potential. Instead, target those bigger ones like weepers, bloaters, or giants. So let's take a look at an example here in Blackport PD. And we're going to sneak up on this chomper. And after we register the sneak attack, we'll pull out a ranged weapon to finish the job. And this is a great combination to use with the saw blade mace because it saves the durability of the saw blade mace and it also saves some durability of your armor. So now that we've seen some of the use cases for the saw blade mace, let's take a look at the absolute melee monster that we can turn this weapon into with a few mods. Now the mods for the saw blade mace are really effective, especially the active skill mod, which turns this into a really good sneak attack weapon. And with these mods equipped, I'm able to get a really nice boost to my critical chance and damage. And along with the melee buff from the healer, if I use the active skill mod, which registers multiple hits on zombies, I'm able to sometimes one hit these toxic abominations in alpha, and that is a lot of fun to do. You can also use the saw blade mace, even if it's unmodded, to sneak attack frenzied giants. You'll just want to find the maximum sneak attack distance between you and the giant so that you can get a running head start and then finish them off with the wall trick or using a ranged weapon. And by taking the time to sneak attack the frenzied giant with the saw blade mace, I actually saved 10 shots with my pistol. Now you won't save as much if you're using an unmodded one, but it's still worth your time. And if you are looking to get melee mods for the saw blade mace or any other melee weapons, the farm chest is a great way to start to earn those. So thank you so much for watching this episode on the saw blade mace. And if you're looking for more Last Day on Earth content, go ahead and check out the LDOE log playlist. All the past episodes and future episodes can be found there. Thanks so much and have yourself a great day.